Jack and the Beanstalk. Jack and his mummy have no money and no food in the house. All they have is one cow. She's a good cow, and she gives lots of milk. But Jack and his mummy want food. Off you go with the cow. Get some money for it, and then we can have some things for tea," says Jack's mummy. Away Jack goes with the cow. He sees a man. "What a good cow you have," says the man. "Yes," says Jack. "She's a good cow, and she gives lots of milk. But we can't keep her. We have to get some money for food." I have no money," says the man. "But I have some magic beans. Please give me the cow, and you can have my magic beans. That will be good," says Jack. "Here you are. You have the cow, and I'll have the magic beans." Jack thanks the man, and then he goes home. Jack gives the magic beans to his mummy. "Look," he says. We can have beans for tea. His mummy looks at the beans. Is that all you have? She says. I don't want beans. She throws the beans away into the garden, and Jack has to go to bed with no tea. The magic beans comes up. They make a big, big beanstalk. What a big beanstalk! Says Jack. It makes the house and the trees look little. I'll go and see what is up there. No, says Jack's mummy. Keep away, Jack. There will be danger up there. Yes, says Jack. There will be danger, but I have to go and see what is up there. His mummy lets him go. Jack goes up and up and up. He sees the giant's house, and he wants to go in. No, stop! says the giant's wife. You can't come in here. Please let me come in, says Jack. I will be good. The giant's wife likes children, so she lets him in. She gives him some food, and Jack thanks her. The giant comes home. He says. Fee fi fo fum, little children, here I come. The giant's wife puts Jack in the cupboard. She says to the giant, "There are no children here, but I have some food for you." The giant has his tea, and then he says, "Get me my money bag." The giant's wife gets him the money bag, and then she goes off to bed. Jack looks at the money bag. The giant stole that money bag from my daddy. He says, "I have to get it." The giant goes to sleep, and Jack gets the money bag. He runs away down the beanstalk with it. The giant sleeps on. Jack gives the money bag to his mummy. Was this daddy's money bag? He says, "Yes, it was," says his mummy. The giant stole it. Jack goes up the beanstalk again. He comes to the giant's house and sees the giant's wife. I don't want you to come in," says the giant's wife. "The giant will come home and he will be after you." Please let me in," says Jack. The giant's wife likes Jack. She lets him in and gives him some food and milk. Then the giant comes home. He says, "Fee fi fo fun, little children, here I come." Jack gets into the cupboard. There are no children here, says the giant's wife. But I have some food for you. The giant has his tea, and then he says, "Get me my magic hen." The giant's wife gives him. Gives it to him, and then she goes off to bed. Jack sees the magic hen. The giant stole that hen from my daddy. He says, "I have to get it." The giant goes to sleep. Then Jack gets the hen and runs away with it.
the giant sleeps on. Jack goes down the beanstalk. He gives the hen to his mummy. Can we keep this hen? He asks. Yes, says his mummy. The giant stole that hen from daddy. Jack goes up the beanstalk again and goes to the giant's house. Please go away, says the giant's wife. You can't come in here. The giant will get you. But she wants to help Jack. So she lets him come in. The giant comes home. He says, "Fee fi fo fun, little children. Here I come." There are no children here, says the giant's wife. But I have some food for you. She gives the giant his tea. The giant says, "Get me my magic harp." The giant's wife gives it to him, and then she goes off to bed. The magic harp plays for the giant, and he goes to sleep. Jack looks at the harp. That was my daddy's harp, he says. I will get it. Jack gets the magic harp and runs off, but the harp says, "Help! Help!" The giant runs after Jack. Jack runs to the beanstalk, and the giant runs after him. Down goes Jack, and down goes the giant. Jack sees his home. He says, "Mummy, mummy, get the axe! The giant is after me." Jack's mummy runs to get the axe. She gives it to him. Down comes the beanstalk, and the giant is killed. That is good," says Jack's mummy. "The giant is no danger to us now. Let us go and get some good things for tea." The end.